Well, hello friends. I am taking you rummaging with me today and going to share probably one of my favorite hauls I've had thus far with finding some amazing antiques and just some home decor pieces and some pieces that I may be putting in an antique booth. So a friend and her kids and my kids, we went to our local city about 45 minutes away and hit up some garage sales. So I am very excited about what I have found here. So I'm not really sure where to start. I'm just going to start with the first thing I see here. I was so excited to find this beautiful pitcher and bowl. So it is a McCoy. And so I know these are really beautiful pieces, antiques. I love the floral pattern on it. I have a plain one myself that I've used in my home decor in our bedroom because I kind of feel like these should fit more in a bedroom setting, but they have like the hint of blue. There's no chips on it. There's nothing on it. Now I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure of some of my prices because I lump things together when I go to garage sales. So I think I paid two on this. I'm not 100% sure though, but it's just so beautiful with the detailing. And this would be something I might swap out for my plain one. And as you heard me mention in the intro, I will potentially be getting an antique booth, well, shelf in an antique store because I just love shopping for these things. And I don't need to just keep collecting them myself. And I want to display them and have them out for other people to buy and enjoy. All right. Next item is this cute little picture. It's a nippin. It says on the bottom, it was only 25 cents for this cute little blue and white picture. Now I love these little things. I might use some of these items in my home before uh, I try to sell them because they're just so adorable and it is definitely my style to have these items because I love decorating with antiques. So this cute little picture. I was debating on picking this up, but it is so adorable with this um, kind of burgundy color. It is a soap dish just with that detailing and the floral pattern in there. And it is a Charlotte Royal Crownford Staffordshire, England. I got this for a dollar and I could see myself putting this in our own bathroom um, we are hoping to do a bathroom remodel relatively soon, so this would be a cute addition to have just with some fresh goat soaps or homemade soaps or just some beautiful soap sitting in there. This is a beautiful blue and white tea kettle with a metal handle. This was a dollar. So at this particular garage sale, anything unmarked was a dollar. So I got this for one dollar. It doesn't have any wear on it. It does just, it just needs cleaned up. So, well, actually it does have a little bit. It looks like it maybe had some bit here from the burner, potentially, if it was used. I'm not sure, just dirt. It might just be dirty. So 
I just thought that is so cute and adorable. You could honestly put little flowers in it. You can use it to serve guests. Just a cute little teapot there. At that same garage sale, I got all these old utensils. Now, there's some, they are so tarnished and worn, but are some of these just really beautiful? I love some of the designs on some of these. Um, I just thought that would be a fun little thing to have. You can display forks. There's just so many different, so many different um, types of forks, spoons, different utensils. They're all pretty dirty, like I said, but just some fun patterns. Like these spoons are just adorable on the handle. So this whole pack was a dollar for all these old eating utensils. All right, I did hit up a thrift store and um, got just a couple things. So I got this table runner. It has some embroidery on the top there of just some um, pretty pattern there. And it was, I wanna say it was 75 cents, but I'm not 100% sure. So just a really pretty table runner. I could actually see myself using this in my home, um, putting a beautiful table runner there with some of my antique dishes and serving some guests with that. I also found this pitcher at the thrift store. I think it was $1.50. Yep, it's a Garcia made in China. It's not an antique at all, but it's just really pretty still. I like having large pitchers for florals in the summer and just decorating with year-round. This drew me in. I don't know if I'm actually going to use it or not, but it, I think they call them bean pots. Correct me if I'm wrong. It was made in Taiwan and it was only 50 cents. So it had the lid. I thought, why not get it? Because those are sometimes fun to have to decorate with or to also resell. But fun little bean pot with the handle. So this is a very sturdy cake pan and it is, I think, honestly meant for hanging. But I thought that would be really cute to either hang in my kitchen, to resell. It was only 50 cents as well. So just a fun little pattern on that. It even tells you it's three and a half cups worth of cake that you can put in there, cake batter. So just a fun little cake pan there and would make a beautiful glazed like lemon loaf cake or something like that. Also at that thrift store, I got this full apron. I believe it was handmade. This was 75 cents as well. So it's so bright, but, and it has one, one pocket. It has a button so you can put it over your head and put your arms through it and cover your pretty much entire body. And those are really handy to have. And I love having the whole full apron, especially when I'm canning beets like I actually am today and just having these available for covering most of your body. And when it's homemade, you can tell it has that um, rick rack, riff rack, rick rack on the edge there. So it's it's been homemade sewn. All right, moving on. I guess I did have one more piece from the thrift store. This is a beautiful, I can't tell if it's a watercolor painting or not. Um, hopefully the reflection's not too bad there for you. Just this lady, in her dress and the hat sitting reading a book with this beautiful gold frame it was a dollar fifty it says made in usa by art dreams ventura california i don't know if it's a vintage piece or not but i just thought that was really pretty just having that kind of watercolor look and just very simple with the lady in her beautiful old dress all right a few a few other pieces here I thought this was a steal. This was $3. It says it's Watts wear. So I have a couple bowls like this, just I don't think they're Watts wear. So this was a fun find. And for $3, couldn't pass it up. It has some um, like stains and spots on it. And you can tell it's been used. It has a little chipping on it. But like I've said before, I love having used items. It just tells a story knowing that people have loved these items and use them in their home as well. This was a dollar. It is just another kind of vintage picture. It has some really pretty detailing on it. 
It is the Arden's, I think, Arner's, sorry, Arner's company. It's really dirty on the inside. It has one little crack here, but again, just another beautiful picture for florals, for displaying, and I just like having these sitting around on shelves in different rooms. This is more the cottage vintage inspired, and I have kind of a cottage farmhouse, so who's, who knows? Maybe I'll start transitioning over to a little bit more of this. Um, more detailed vintage cottage style in my home. I got this for 75 cents. I just really liked the old lid, to be honest. I think that's the biggest part of why I got this jar. So nothing super fancy about it. Just, you know, kind of a square jar for 75 cents that needs some cleaning up. So while rummaging to, I found just a few clothing pieces for my daughter and for a friend. So nothing that I really was gonna put into this haul because this is pretty much all vintage inspired antique um, decor and kitchen wares and things like that. So I was so excited about finding all these wonderful pieces and the rummage sale season is the best time because people just wanna get rid of things. They're not really trying to always make a lot. So if you can go out grad sailing and rummage sailing whatever you call it right now in the summer months that is the best time to find some of these items because otherwise swift stores mark things up antique stores definitely mark things up a lot more so hit up those rummages if you can i really hope you enjoyed seeing what i found because i know i loved all these pieces and i wanted to share that with you so hope you're having a blessed day <laughs>